Hey guys, Travis here in a very comfortable situation. You know what, there's been a lot of talk going on around the whole Caitlyn Jenner situation, and I feel that I think it's about time that I give my two cents worth. Um, you know, it's, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for a little bit to say, but you know what, this is my opinion. If you don't like it, you can all subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm 50-50 on the situation. You know what, if Bruce Jenner really was the kind of human being that realized finally that he was a female all the time and you know then um you know what good for him now that bruce jenner is officially gone and caitlin jenner has come into the fold i find it very ironic now that uh, caitlin is now this big hero and uh, she actually looks really good as a female compared to chris <laughs> um but here's the thing um, I am an ally of the LGBT community, the LGBT yeah, community, in a sense that, um, you know, I, I think it's wrong and I think it's upsetting the fact that it takes somebody like Caitlyn Jenner to pretty much get the word out about transgender identity. Um, obviously she's rich, she afford the surgery to look as good as she does. A lot of people don't have that option. And unfortunately it takes somebody very famous like that to really open up about their own sexuality. And I find it very heartbreaking. But at the same time, um, I think Caitlyn Jenner finally got the one thing that she's wanted since she actually came across the Kardashian family and that's now she is out of the shadow of the Kardashians. The fact of the matter is she's going to get her own, um, you know, her own um, reality show, which is one thing I'm sure she's always wanted. And everybody now is concentrating on her instead of Chris, Kendall, Kylie, Chloe, Courtney, and, and the rest of them. Um, I think that uh, hopefully this is going to do good, and I hope that she's not going to let this go to her head, you know, that she's finally being recognized. And, you know, the one thing that I hope for everybody who gets a little bit of fame including myself included myself included um that they don't let fame go to their heads you got to be humble about the situation and even though you're you're happy now and you're good with your life the fact of the matter is you've got to be very down to earth if you're not down to earth then really you're just contributing to the problem and uh you know what um good on Caitlyn Jenner and hopefully the transgender community will be able to um, come out more and here's the thing I would date a trans girl why because I admire them I admire somebody who admits that they weren't born in the wrong body and has the decency has the bravery has the everything that you need to be who you want to be I would do that and I would do it in a heartbeat why because they are more real than most of the people I've ever dated in my life who were born female and stayed female. It's just the way it is. Because the fact is, everybody is so sure of themselves, but the fact is, when transgender people actually don't know themselves the majority of their life, and then they finally want to be who they want to be because they're trying to finally look inside themselves, to find themselves inside, to let that out, then that, my friends, is true bravery and true courage and true love. And that's the kind of love I want, and that's the kind of love I want to give. So that's my lesson for the day, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Travis Walsh. Good night.